One of the most traditional dishes that I learned how to make as a little girl was mole, which means to mold ingredients together. Now, the misconception about mole is that you have to have chocolate in it, all these different ingredients. No, my great grandmother taught me how to make mole. So here it is, vegetables, an almond, a walnut, some sort of a nut, and a spice. So today, I'm gonna use two different nuts, but I'm gonna make the very traditional tomato mole. Here's my ingredients. Tomatoes, jalapenos, chita de árbol, which is a nice little green chili that you dry, almonds, walnuts, garlic, tomato paste, and onions. We're gonna place all these things in a pot, and we're gonna saute them. Get your jalapenos, get all your walnuts, and the walnuts seriously do not need to be chopped. These are all gonna be blended in. Your cheetah that will, you may not want all of these because one of these guys is an equivalent ooh, to about three jalapenos. Garlic, and you need about half an onion. So you're gonna add a little grape seed to your pot. Bring all your ingredients in. Add a little tomato paste. Once you cook this down for about six to eight hours, you're gonna add about two cups of chicken stock and you're gonna puree it in a blender. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pheasant confit uh, mole. Now, confit means that you're gonna cook something very, very low in fat. I cooked mine in a little bit of duck fat, and then you're gonna cook it, and you know, I add a little bit of orange zest, garlic, the fat, and I let it go for about eight hours under low heat for about 285 degrees. So once you get it all together, then you're gonna go ahead and heat it up in your cast iron skillet. So I'm gonna turn this off, but you're gonna get the idea that you're gonna add chicken stock to this, you're gonna puree it, and you're gonna get it to be this dark. And I mean, again, you can add as much spice as you want to it. So obviously the longer you let mole cook, the spicier it gets. So I always tell people to wait till the very end to season it because the flavors keep developing, but you're gonna get a nice dark mole just like this. And once your pheasant confit is nice and warm, then the beauty of this sauce at this point is that you just pour it right over This is the way it's gonna heat up. It's gonna taste amazing. So I'm gonna serve it over quinoa. You can serve it over rice, lentils, beans. Your dish is ready. So there's another way of using pheasant for your everyday cooking.